I've been waiting to do this for two years. It was my birthday the other day and I bought myself a mini monster. This is a tiny high banker. It's not designed to move a lot of dirt. What it's really designed to do is allow you to move the same sort of dirt you could with a river sluice, but anywhere. And that's because it's powered by a drill battery. Like, I'm not even joking, it's a drill battery. And that is a speed controller unit. This means I can now run larger samples without having to use energy on classification, and I don't have to find any running water. I can use puddles like that one. Isn't that right, Fernie? Show me the gold in your sweatpants. Ooh. Can we dig that dirt and put it through the mini monster? Fernster has made a couple of modifications to this already because no sluice box, no matter how much you pay for it, is going to be perfect for your area right off the bat. First, I just reduced the size of the grizzly bar slots down to quarter inch. You don't want to run big rocks through a tiny sluice box. And second, I got rid of the absolutely terrible POS mat that was in this and replaced it with expanded mesh over AstroTurf. In my opinion, the best combination for most soil types. Yes, there are further modifications I have to make, but this was just getting the basic ones right so we can come out here and test it today. I night ye, Sir Gadsden. Oh, thank you. Hey, up. Boop. You helping? Thank you. First bucket is done. Show me those speckles. Ooh. Man, you could put it like a down payment on a Freddo frog. Oh. That bucket took about seven minutes to run, 20 liters, five pans worth, and it was from dry washer tailing. So I'm not expecting huge amounts of gold in this. Because this was the first ever dry washer pile that we ran, I know there's going to be gold in it. I just want to make sure the sluice is working with some known gold. Yeah! Look at that fine stuff! Okay, the sluice is working well. We're recovering some real fine flakes of gold. I'm going to just take all that black sand home. You live with me now. Welcome to the Vogus family. Things that just make sense. Doing my best not to splash my crutch. Everyone will think I've wet my pants. Traditionally at the drift mines, you have to find concentrators. Concentrators are nothing more when the water has pushed dirt into a line. That's where we took this from. If you don't take it from there, you probably won't find gold. Look how fine that stuff is. There's easy like 20 bits of gold in there. Look at that. Small gold, small high bank up. That works. Let's dig the bucket from there. Kilos of happiness. You haven't pressed the button yet. Oh no, I haven't. Oh yeah. It's catching good black sand. As you saw in the test pan, all the gold was really fine, so I doubt we're gonna see any in the mat. Let's get it in the pan. That, every riffle's got loaded black sand in it. One bucket, one bucket. All right, we've got gold. It's all through the black sand too. Heaps of that really, really fine looking stuff. But there's one important test we've got to do. I'm gonna take a pan of my tailings. Tailings. Is there gonna be gold in here? Probably. Do I care? Probably. Will I fix it? Probably. 
So I haven't even adjusted water flow or pitch of the sluice yet. Really fine. One, two, three, four, five tiny little nano dots. It's difficult to get maximal recovery on a very short sluice like that. I will play with the pitch and I will play with the water flow and that's probably going to clean those little nano dots right up. So we're not too much to worry about at this stage. I've reduced the angle on the sluice, so now it's running a little bit flatter. That should help mitigate some of those gold losses. And Gadzi found a beautiful little erosion trench. Oh, yeah. Bloody hell, you just made the next afterpay payment on your frog. Oh, yeah. This definitely needs modification. It's going to get us through today, but there's too much steel underneath that mesh and it's not letting rocks through efficiently. Thanks for being such a good mine helper today, Fernie. Almost through the bucket. Anytime you turn around and you see Gadzi walking back up the creek with his pan held out, it's usually a good indicator that he found some good <laughs> No! <laughs> what the f <laughs> Gadzi, can we get the next bucket from there? Wow, dude. Dude. Dude! <laughs> That's how you know you're doing good. <laughs> Somehow I don't think that uh, I'm going to get as much gold as what Gadzi got in that one pan because that was that's a ridiculous pan. But nonetheless, I will cherish the ten specs I collect. Super fine gold, about what we've been averaging every single bucket. Enough of this crap. Let's go get rich stuff. All fun and games until the bloody gold fever hits, and then the manic Chris Jacqueline Hyde turns his. Let's go get gold. I can't even English. Ah! We're just taking this test pan slightly off the concentrator to see if the gold is shedding out of gravels or if it's only in the concentrator. Oh no, that's a little pan, and that's... <laughs> I would say it's in that gravel, man. Yeah, I think so. Nice bone, Vernie. Mm -mm, this is a premium air-grade slop. Oh, it's so high quality, it'll keep all the gold-filled rats fed. How did we not notice that your hat and that sluice match? <laughs> I just want to reiterate, today is not about getting mad amounts of gold, although Gazzy did find a premium spot. It's really about testing the little high banker. Every sluice system that you buy commercially will have to be tweaked to suit your ground. Isn't that right, Professor Fern? We know the sluice mat now is working a lot better than what came with it, but we need to modify both spray bars and the classifying system on it to make it more efficient. Pew. We should be able to start seeing some black sand in here real soon once that water bug is off. Oh yeah, we got that coarse black sand in there. One bucket of premium pay dirt. This should pay off Gadzi's Freddo Frog in total. Ooh. I mean, let's be honest. Caramel or Koala is where it's at. Is there any gold? Ooh. There's a couple of nice flakes in there. Look at that bit. Mm. Yeah. 
Not as much as I was expecting. Let's quickly test tailings. Now I changed the angle on the sluice, but we didn't adjust the water flow. That's another thing we've got to do. And the spray bars need work. No, there's not really that much loss. There's like a couple of little nanos, about the same as what we had in the last loss pan. We're getting the same amount of loss as the last time. I've definitely got to adjust probably the water flow. The other thing is the spray bars. They're not breaking apart the clay clumps as much as what we need. So we're gonna flatten them. So instead of being nice big round diameter tubes, we flatten them to a spray and that should cut apart any of those clay balls and stop this kind of loss. Right, more work to be done. However, it is the end of the day and we're gonna look at what Senior Sweatpants got for his day of test panning. That is a pretty good pan of gold for test panning, man. You've got, <laughs> that's gotta be half a gram there. Yeah, maybe. Easy. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is what old Vogie Butt got. Still not a bad pan. Heaps of super fine gold. Safe to say I think the high banker is doing its job pretty well on that micro stuff. I'd estimate I got maybe a 0.3. But now it's time to take this home, make the modifications to the high banker, and try again. That was the first of a few trips I've done with the mini high banker so far, and the next episode I hit a real hot pastry. Just two little buckets. It's taken me 20 minutes of work, including filming to get that. That noise you can hear in the background is a rock tumbler. That's a whole other video. Since doing that testing day, I have added our nice flat spray bars, and these make a world of difference because the water comes out in the shape of a fan as opposed to like a big fisty jet. And those fans of water break up clay balls as the clay goes down the run. And I've added a piece of miner's moss at the very top of the run. That creates a dead zone where the material falls onto it and has to stop for a second, allowing gold to sink to the bottom and the material to start stratifying. And that there is all the gold we recovered in five buckets from the drift mines. Couple of nicer flakes, even a little roly-poly bit, but most of it is super fine. There it is in our silver spoon. Before we weigh it up, what's your guess? I'm reckoning half a gram from five buckets. Half a gram. Almost 0 0.45. 0 0.45 grams of gold is worth $38.12 Australian or around $7.60 in every single bucket, which is a reasonable amount of gold to have collected in just a single bucket. But until then, please give your dog a big scratch behind the ears for me. Peace, and I'm out.